All right, so I'm going to do the pick me up for you one more time here. telling him to, you know, to keep his mind on the hills, to keep his hind end under him, and to just take it nice and easy and slow down the hills. That's going to be one of those things that's going to keep you safe as you're out on the hills and those trails and stuff. Um, we don't use spurs on him. He doesn't like spurs too much. You're going to find that your best results are with a little uh, whip of some sort or, um, you know, just some kind of little quirk. Something about yay long. Uh, I think I have one around here I could show you that I've been using. I've had really good success with. Let me see if I can get it. that I've been using on him and it works really well. You can get these at probably just any feed store around you. But I like it. It works out really well. I've had a lot of success using this on him. And this is how I was kind of having him do the pick-me-up too when I was teaching him that. And the side passing. This is what I used to get him to go over. stick this out here and then you always have this if you need to just like so so that's really handy that's gonna be one of those things you might invest in rather than a pair of spurs boy all right so if you have any questions if there's anything that you um, would like to know that we did not mention in this video, please don't hesitate to give us a call. That's what we're here for. We want to make sure that you're happy and you're safe and successful. Once again, our bit, I noticed we might want to make it a little tighter. So that's something you might want to look at, you know, as you, uh, once you get on, sometimes it'll loosen up. Always check and make sure you've got this where you want it. Because I do notice sometimes they'll get a little loose. So it never hurts to check and make sure you've got everything where you want it. There we are. Alrighty. Well, we hope you have fun and we look forward to hearing back from you. You have safe rides. 